Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mamo Speaks a Mind. If you're watching this for the very first time, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. So today I want to talk to you guys about how to spot a stingy man. My YouTube channel is not about bashing men. So before you guys come for me, I didn't set up this YouTube channel just to bash men. It just happens that these topics come my way. So I don't hate men because hello. And before we start the video again, I just want to say a little prayer for all the stingy men out there. Father God, please, we ask you to please deliver them from being stingy or stingy syndrome, if there's anything such, so that their money can be in circulation. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Yeah! And I'm not trying to promote um, that you should depend on a man to give you what you want. No, that's not what this video is about. This video, because I do believe that women should be able to work out for their own money and provide for themselves and be an independent woman on your own. But at the same time, when you get into a relationship with a guy and he, uh, you're adding in his life, he's adding in your life. I think finance is some of the things that he should have, he should add in your life, especially if the guy is financially well off. So I'm just going to deal with some, so if there's any guys watching my video, please just know that, you know, this part is, this little part is just for you. So if you're dating a girl who's looking bomb ass, classy, beautiful, weaves, makeup, everything, body on point and, and all this stuff. Do you guys really think that it doesn't cost money to maintain and to keep that up? So when you want to go around brag and say, oh, my girl is so classy, my girlfriend is this, or my wife is that, or whatever, 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 just know that it costs money to maintain that lifestyle too. Brazilian weave, it's not cheap. MAC foundation, it's not cheap. Like, even to keep your body in check, it ain't cheap because you got to pay to go to the gym to make sure you work out and look good and put yourself together for, your, for yourself. Because I believe in dressing for yourself before you dress for any man. You know, put yourself together. And also, if you're not looking so bum ass, what would you be bragging about? And don't you guys think that when a man is making money, you should be able to see that this guy is financially together. When you check out the wife and look how the babe or girlfriend is looking like, and she is looking like she is wearing the money on her body you know no you should be waiting for your girl to ask you for money before you just start blessing her with money you know and blessing her with things that is going to help if you see that if the girlfriend is busy hinting you little bit and saying that hey you know baby i want to go into my head this weekend that's a hint for you to just dish it out and say okay honey here's a lot of money go do your hair your hair is on me let me take you shopping let me like when they start hinting you ah wake up now and you shouldn't have to wait for the girl to be hinting you first before you already know that you need to help your girl keep up the standard so, do you guys remember that dj Khaled music video way and it's like um here's some money for you to go and buy yourself a car here's some money for you to go and buy your mama a house go buy your mama a house go buy your whole family houses put this money in your savings account Go spend some money for no reason. Come back and ask for more. Kind of, if you're dating a guy with money, you expect your guy to be like that now. You don't expect a guy to be stingy, always complaining around you, saying things like, oh no, ah, how much does it cost to fix hair? Why is it so expensive? As if you can't afford it. You know, oh, why, why is going out so expensive? Why is doing this so expensive? Every time when this guy just keeps talking about negative, like, oh, not negative, just complain about money around you and it's not like he doesn't have the money it's one thing when your guy is not financially there yet and we women trust we support men we support our guys through everything so it's i'm not speaking about when a guy cannot afford my career is not my i don't see myself as a career woman i do see myself as a family homemaker home builder, just being at home, taking care of the kids and running a household. And there's absolutely nothing wrong if that is what you want to do. So this video is not about promoting um, blessing and blesser situation. That's not what this video is about. This video is about spotting and trying to avoid a stingy man that has a lot of money, but he still doesn't want to share his wealth and health. No, to share his health with his partner. I used to tell myself when I was single that I'm literally allergic to stingy people. 
I didn't want to attract any guy that was stingy, you know, my way because I feel like I'm a generous person. I'm a very generous person and, and, and I do believe that the guy that I should, have, I should be with when I was still single should be generous and thank God, you know, God was faithful enough to bless me with a generous man, you know. And just when you think that this guy is, you want to think that he's not stingy, you know, and you know when a guy wants to say, oh, these girls, all of you are all about money and you just want to collect money, there's no substance to the relationship and whatnot and whatever, and then he starts complaining, all these nasty complaints to say, say, ah, this relationship is not about money, you know, you shouldn't be here, I'm not your daddy, I'm not your uncle, I'm not your, yeah, you're my man. And if you have certain expectation from me as your girlfriend, you, I have certain expectation from me as a girlfriend. So some of them want to talk. Let me be real. Some of you guys want to be like, oh no, I'm not your uncle when you want to talk now. When you stingy guys, though, some stingy guys. I'm not your uncle. I'm not your daddy. I'm not your this. I'm not your this. But when you are busy asking this girl for sex, you don't remember that you know. A time will come where you not to pay. You're not paying for sex. Nah, no. But a time will come when you have to spoil your woman. You know, and you just want to receive and receive and receive and not give. Ah, your money should be in circulation, my brother. You shouldn't keep your money all the way to yourself. You're going to, it's going to choke you. You know, that's what happens when you are stingy. Why? What's so big about spending some money on your, on your babe and you know trying to make her look good or what or, or adding more value to her life financially? You know, and helping her to grow you know especially if you see that a woman is hustling and trying to make things for herself and then you're with a guy who can really help you to achieve those goals in terms of businesses that you want to open or whatever and this guy doesn't want to even cough or if you tell this guy oh my tire burst oh i don't know how i'm going to fix it because i've not received my salary or whatever you're trying to hint the guy to say okay no you know what to do and this guy will be like ah hey yeah sorry you oh. mm. Don't worry and just trust in the Lord, he'll provide for you. A guy who is not stingy wants a woman cough, he's there. A lot. Like the same Andra. It's either he's lying about the money that he has, or this guy is just plain old stingy, you know? So I, I'm just gonna give you guys two simple things to look out for when you're dating a stingy guy. A stingy guy, number one, will always talk about all his success around you and tell you all the things he's doing and tell you all the achievements he has and tell you all the places he's traveling to, the businesses, the business opportunities making, how much money he's making, bragging in your face, but you as a girlfriend, you never get to experience it. You never ever get to experience a trip to a fancy restaurant. And this guy's been telling you, I've been, I'm going to America next week. I'm doing this. And then when he comes from all the street, he buys you cheap, cheap things from the airport. That's a gift. When he goes to Dubai or he goes to America or he goes to Paris, you should be coming with a nice handbag for your girlfriend. But instead you come back and you come and give excuses. Oh, yeah, you brag to the girl, but you don't realize that this girl sees that you have money so for me it's almost like it's either you don't have that money or which one is it you are stingy so those are one of the things that you should look out for and then you're probably driving a toyota test as a girlfriend and you end up having a guy who's driving a porsche get married to that guy trust me you'll be driving a toyota test still and he'll be driving a porsche these things happen guys stingy people really really exist and they will let you suffer and suffer while they are climbing to the top and you just like oh just enjoy the benefit of being with me be with a rich guy why can't i enjoy the benefit of being a rich guy why not, why not just by being with you just by saying that i'm with a guy who is a ceo of standard bank or i mean a guy who is a ceo of multi choice but i'm not a living proof of that and the second thing that you should look out for is when a guy who has a lot of money that you're dating and if he's stingy and maybe you've been dating this guy for like two years and all he keeps saying to you is like oh he will use this as an excuse oh you know i just want to know if you're with me for me and not for my money because i've always dated people who are always with me for money and whatever like that giving some lousy excuses for why they don't want to let you in on their finances because they are scared or whatever whatever reason whatever reason it may be and tells you that no I just want to make sure that you are with me for the right reasons right reasons two years and you have not even taken me on a nice five-star like date 
you're taking me to all this cheap dating all because you're trying to prove yourself you'll be there prove yourself for the rest of your life eh? because this guy is going to complain and complain and tell you and use that sob story and good women will buy all this bullshit we'll be like oh it's okay i'm going to prove myself to you i'm going to prove myself to you for how long are you going to prove yourself it's like i'm take the risk i'm taking a risk being with you so you should be able to take the risk and get rid of your stingy behavior and just start enjoying your life and have an open and honest relationship with your person and if you're dating a guy who is so stingy like this ladies please also close your legs be stingy with the sex as well if he's being stingy with his money be stingy with sex and then let's see if this guy will continue this stingy syndrome behavior and how long it will last for and if you've been trying to hint your guy for the longest time and he's not getting it just sit him down say honey sit down there's a video i want you to watch play this video if he doesn't react up to this video oh there's no help for you my dear just stay clear from such people stay clear from him because if if you've tried everything possible to get this guy out of his stingy ways if you're stingy you're stingy move on to the next one because there's so many people out there who i'm sure will be willing to be with someone like you thanks for watching my video subscribe like comment and see you guys next time it's been real <laughs>